You know, plants have a lot to teach us. If only we'd be still long enough to listen. They show up when we really need them. They heal the land, and in turn they offer their healing properties to us. You know, in the Appalachians, mullein, a very common lung herb, it grows in abundance. You know, and what do we know the Appalachian as? That's coal country. You know, so here you have this really helpful herb growing in abundance and it's just right there for us to use and, and teach us something. You know, plants sometimes give us clues about their healing properties as well. Herbalists call this the doctrine of signatures. And this is the idea that the plant will sometimes display characteristics that might indicate what it could be useful for. You know, and a, a perfect example of this is the walnut. You know, if you open up the walnut, it looks like a brain. And in actuality, it helps in the development of neurotransmitters that enhance the brain. Hi, my name is Chandra Hartman. I'm an herbalist, entrepreneur, and designer, and I love plants. Welcome to my channel. Some of my fondest memories were spent outside. You know, I'm a Gen Xer, and we had to fend for ourselves. We spent a lot of time outside unsupervised, unsupervised. And this is where my love in nature really grew. So I just remember when I was a teenager, you know, we would camp out by the CNO Canal. I spent a lot of time rock climbing in Arizona. I've hiked up in Alaska. And just like I said, my fondest memories have been spent outside. So, you know, I, I feel like I have a natural bond with nature. It's really no surprise, you know, the first time I was introduced to plant medicine when I was a teenager, I was just instantly intrigued. You know, ultimately my career took me in a totally different path. I ended up studying architecture, um, but all along I still maintained my interest in nature and plant medicine. And I started trying to figure out ways to weave the two together, you know, like bringing the natural and the built environment together. I found that studying permaculture and sustainable communities and regenerative design, uh, that really sparked an interest in me. And I felt that, like that was really something that we should really strive for, you know, biophilic design, you know, the love of nature, incorporating nature into our built environment. I like to joke about plants being my friends and it's kind of true. Yes, I do have human friends too, but you know, I just found myself going back to studying plants and I feel like there's just profound healing when we spend time in nature. And I also found this to be true, just spending time with plants. I think even just using plants for aesthetic purposes has profound healing. You know, if you can admire and look at the beauty of a rose, whether or not you actually use it medicinally or not, it can help soothe the soul. My herbal practice is focused on pattern discrimination and traditional Chinese medicine with a focus on five element theory. I know that's a lot to kind of unpack and understand, but basically what it means, if you look at pattern discrimination, it's just another way of studying somebody's constitution and understanding the underlying patterns that are causing illness in the body. And then five element theory is also the study of the five Chinese organs and how they correspond with, you know, taste and color and emotions. Um, you know, there's a whole theory around, around uh, the five elements and I like to incorporate this in my practice as well. I actually use a blend of Chinese, Ayurvedic, and Western herbs in my practice. And my apothecary that I have, Wild Root Coffee and Apothecary, I carry a wide range of different types of herbs. We also make uh, tinctures. I have different formulas that I also make. I like to use the herbs that speak to me and the ones that work the best for the situation. So I would love to just focus on herbs that are local or herbs that just grow in my bioregion but we have a whole world of herbs that are open to us. 
so why not utilize them? I hope you enjoy my channel. My intention is to keep my videos short and concise, and I wanna answer a lot of those questions that I get in my apothecary, and we'll just start with some basics and hopefully build on that. So please enjoy.